makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum invite you to enjoy life. Life with Luigi, a comedy show created by Cy Howard and starring that celebrated actor, Mr. J. Carroll Nash, with Alan Reed as Pasquale. On this night of Christmas, we in America are happy to be living where we are free to act toward each other in a spirit of friendliness and goodwill. And the makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum are especially glad to bring you Life with Luigi tonight because we feel that in its good-natured way, Life with Luigi expresses the spirit of tolerance and understanding that means so much to all of us. And now, let's look in on Luigi as he writes another letter describing his adventures in America to his Mama Basco in Italy. Dear Mamma Mia, (laughs) it's now Christmas night and the Christmas shopping season is all over. But what excitement there was doing the shopping. All the good Americans, they moved out of their houses and they started to live in one the bigger place, department of stores. <laughs> Come on there, you should have seen the crowds. Yesterday, I was, went to Caesar Rosa Buck to buy a two-cent washer for my sink, which is a leaking. Five times I started off to the hardware department, and a five times the crowd is a push me back to the ladies' of house coach. <laughs> Finally, I'm coming home with a two cents of washer for the sink, which the clerk is a gift wrap. Tied with a pink ribbon and a stamp that don't open it before Christmas. <laughs> Where does it turn out anyway? This is Christmas, even my sink was a surprise with a present. <laughs> Mama Mia, last week I'm sent to you your Christmas present. A bread the toaster. Oh, this is a wonderful American invention. But there's one thing I'm gonna warn you about that. Don't to try to stuff in a whole of bread at the one time. <laughs> Put in just one slice of bread, then don't do nothing until you see the smoke come out. <laughs> then you take out the bread, to scrape off the black part in it. <laughs> this is a taste almost as good as a plain bread that's a stale. <laughs> but at Christmas time, everybody had a list with their names on it. I'm ahead of mine, too. Everybody's name was on it, except my countryman Pasquale, because... For him, I'm going to something extra special. All year long, I was put away a dollar a week in my bank at Christmas club till I had $50 just for this big surprise for Pasquale. Oh, it was a wonderful surprise and was a big, big secret. I was even afraid to tell him myself. But anyway, Mamma Mia, to tell you the whole story, just like it was to happen... I'm going to go back to last Friday when I was checking on my Christmas list to make sure everybody's got his present. And suddenly my door was opened up and in is a come a windy Christmas spirit. Luigi, my friend. Hello, Luigi. Hello, hello. <laughs> Merry Christmas. And a Merry Christmas to you, little banana nose. <laughs> <laughs> Luigi, I know you're short of money, so don't get me nothing. You can't pay out the 12 easy installments. Uh, well, all right, Pascal. Uh, uh, Pascal, you finished the with, uh, with you Christmas shopping yet? Luigi, how would you like to see television every night of next year? Oh, Pasquale, you shouldn't. Don't worry, I didn't. (laughs) (laughs) I'm only teasing. I'm going to buy you a big, beautiful television set. Oh, Pasquale, how wonderful. And I'm not going to get you just a plain little 10-inch screen. This is going to have a big 20-inch screen. It's going to keep out all the flies. (laughs) Oh, thank you, thank you, Pasquale. Also, Luigi, this set is going to have a 100-foot electric cord. But, Pascari, I'm got a little room. I don't need a hundred foot electric cord to, to reach the socket. Oh, I forgot to tell you something, little cabbage puss. You're going to plug the cord into your store, but the television is set. Is it going to play in my daughter Rosa's room? <laughs> Pascari, you, you mean every time I'm going to watch my television set, I'm going to do it to your daughter? That's right, you lucky pups, you. <laughs> But with your daughter us in the room, who's going to be able to see it? <laughs> oh, Luigi, stop her with a fat talk. What if my rose is away 250 pounds? That's not so big. 
It's all the way you look on. If you don't mind, I'm rather not to look. Oh, look, I'm talking for your own good. A bachelor's single life is running around in no place. You're driving yourself crazy. Get married, you know where you're going. Marry Rosie, your life will have a plan. No, Bascari, I'm better off with a blue cross the hospital of plans. <laughs> Luigi, why don't you think about it? Be fair. Remember, there's two sides to everything. Two sides? Rosa's got more sides than a four-way call the tablet. <laughs> you don't make me so mad. You remind me, after you give me my Christmas present, I should have never speak to you again. <laughs> well, uh, all right, Pascali. Now, now, if you don't mind, please, I'm going to go to my night school class. All right, go, go. Now, remember, don't go spending any money on me for Christmas, sir. Uh. My waist is a 56, and my neck size is a 19. Also, I like to play cards, and I could use a tray, an automatic shuffler, and a two plastic decks for when I play Kanata. <laughs> all right, all right, Pascali. And goodbye, but I'm going to see you later. Hey, yeah, little pumpkin head. Where is he going to get money to buy any good presents anyway? He's always got to come to me for money. I mean, it's a private little Marshall plan. <laughs> hey, what's this he left behind? There's a little envelope. I'm going to like it to peek, but if the inside of the envelope wants to peek out of me... <laughs> hey, what's this? Fifty dollars. Oh, he's going to do something behind my back. Let's see what he's written on his paper. Christmas list. <laughs> well, my name must be on the top... Miss Spaulding, huh? Hmm. Schultz, Horowitz, Olson. <laughs> he must have been saving me for the last. Mailman, Rosa, window cleaner, Officer Flanagan, the Sandy, the newsboy, Jake, and the pickle man. He's left me out. Fifty dollars. He's a hid away from me and he's left me out. Me as a guardian in America. When he's come here from Italy, I give him his first pair of shoes, his first haircut. First, the comic book. And when he's enough to read it, I helped him out. I got somebody to read it to him. <laughs> no present for Pasquale, eh? Well, I'm going to show him this list and this money. I ain't going to keep it. I'm just going to hold it for him until Christmas. Christmas of 1999. <laughs> All right, class. Quiet, please. Out for all the room. Mr. Basco? Here. Mr. Howard? Yeah. Mr. Olson? Yeah. Mr. Schultz? Up, dancer, up, dancer, up, dunder, up, blitz. <laughs> Mr. Schultz, are you supposed to be Santa Claus? That's what my wife's relatives think. Mr. <laughs> <laughs> smile, Miss Polly. It's just the Christmas spirit. Here, here's a present I brought for you. Some voodoo perfume. <laughs> oh, thank you, Mr. Schultz. <laughs> uh, Miss Spaulding, I brought you something, too. And here's my gift to Miss Spaulding. I brought you something also, Miss Spaulding. Oh, what a bunch of copycats. <laughs> <laughs> well, class, this is it's wonderful. I, I can't find the words. <laughs> Who cares, as long as you don't find the price tag. Schultz, a hard and it's an here, here, I'm a brought to you some little things, too. Thank you, Lavinia. Thank, Thank you. you. Oh, my fellas, fellas, should I do it to him now? Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. <clears throat> Luigi, uh, we all got together yesterday after class, and, uh, well, we, we talked about you and what a nice little fellow you was, and, uh, well, we shipped in, and here's your Christmas present, and that's all. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Luigi. Merry Christmas. Oh, friends, Friends, what a wonderful present. Oh, this is the most beautiful fountain of pen I've ever owned. Is it the only fountain of pen I've ever owned? Oh. <laughs> Mama mia, a gold top and a beautiful inside. Luigi, go ahead. Read the inscription that we wrote to you on the pen. Yeah, Luigi, and, and they come straight from our hearts to you. Hmm? All right, I'm, I'm a read. Fourteen a carat the gold filled. Luigi, you are reading the point. <laughs> You're on the cap, you read. Oh. With the sincere friendship, Christmas in 1951. Oh, class is, is a beautiful. And, and I'm trying to think of any other words you could have added. More words? 
If we added any more words, you would have ended up with two fountain pens. <laughs> Luigi, we're glad you like it. It was just a slight return for the presents you got us. Uh, Luigi, uh, what did you get for Pasquale? Well, for Pasquale, I'm, I'm getting something extra special. You see, he's the one who's brought me to this wonderful country, America, and he's a watch over me all the time, so I'm getting him a big surprise. A wallet? A watch. A necktie. A noose? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, class. It was, wasn't none of those things. It's a surprise and... Well, give us a hint, Luigi. Well, it's, uh, it's something that Pasquale not going to touch, smell, or feel. He's not going to keep it, but once he's got it, he's not going to exchange it. Oh, stop, Luigi. You're getting us all for shimmered. <laughs> yeah, uh, come, Luigi. You, you just got our curiosity all around. Yeah, what are you going to give Pasquale, Luigi? Well, uh, yesterday I went to the bank, took out the money, and I said to myself, what am I going to get a Pasquale? That's a different. Something that nobody has ever given nobody before. Aha, uh -huh. so you're getting him a shrunken mummy head. <laughs> Mr. Schultz, please stop interrupting and let Mr. Basco finish. Well, anyway, I'm going to took this money and I'm going to went... Mama. Mama mia. Something wrong, Mr. Basco? Pasquale, it's a Christmas money. It's a mess and I'm a lost it. Luigi, wait. First look in all your pockets. You're, you're entitled to think where you might have left. No, no, no. I'm a, I'm a left it in no place. I'm, I'm a lost it. Oh, it's a terrible... Please, Miss Potter, you excuse me. I'm, I'm going to go look for it. Certainly, Mr. Basco. Ach, Luigi, don't take it so hard. Smile. After all, it's only money. Though you lost it, what are you going to do? Jump off the bridge? How much money did you lose? Fifty dollars. Fifty dollars? Yeah. Luigi, move over and I'll jump off with you. <laughs> Return to life with Luigi in just a few moments. Friends, we know that many of you have enjoyed Wrigley Spearmint chewing gum today because it's a well-known custom to pass Wrigley Spearmint around on Christmas and other occasions when folks get together. When you open up that familiar little package of Wrigley Spearmint gum and say, have a stick, you're really showing friendly thoughtfulness that people really appreciate. That's because just about everyone enjoys chewing Wrigley Spearmint chewing gum. So, friends, for your own enjoyment and for the enjoyment of others, we'd like to suggest that you keep Wrigley's Spearmint chewing gum handy at all times. That's Wrigley's Spearmint. Healthful, refreshing, delicious. Let's turn to page two of Luigi Basco's letter to his mother in Italy. And so, Mamma Mia, I thought it would be no use even to tell you what the wonderful present I was going to get for Pasquale. Because I was lost the $50 I was saved for it. All night long, I'm looking the streets with my searchlight. I'm not found the fifty dollars, and I'm had a fight with a couple in a parked car. <laughs> also in my house, I'm a look all over under my rug in a flower pot in a chandelier, and all I'm a find is a dust, two flowers, and a lamp. It's no work. <laughs> also, I'm a push away all the furniture, swept up the floors, a dusted under the couch in a bed. I'm not find the money, Mamma Mia, but today I'm a got the cleanest bedroom in Chicago. <laughs> Mamma mia, I'm, I'm, I'm not got the heart to look at a Pasquale. Right now, I'm seeing him through the window, and he's, he's talking to Rosa very mad. I can just imagine what he's saying to her about to me. Rosa, stop eating for a minute. I want to talk to you. <laughs> All right, Papa. Rosa, who's the best friend of Luigi ever had? You, Papa. And who's treated him a better, fairer than anybody in this country? You, Papa. And who's it turned out to be a rotten, ungrateful jackass? You, Papa. Yeah. <laughs> but this kind of talk I send you to school. I uh, can't you say nothing but you, Papa. <laughs> Go back to you, Papa. <laughs> Rosa, from now on, 
you and me, we're true with Luigi. Don't ever associate with him. Don't go near him. Don't ever let me even see him. Yeah, you, Papa. Not even that. Rosa, if he was to come back to you on his hands and knees, what would you say to him? Luigi, you want to play piggyback? Oh, <laughs> oh I'm so mad on him. He's never going to get back his $50. Some Christmas solicities I had. Presents for everybody, even the Jake and the Pickle of Man. But for me, nothing. It was not the present so much. I wouldn't care if he was to give me a cheap 29 cent necktie. Same one I gave him last year. <laughs> oh, I'm so mad on him, I'm going to cut him out of my will. Papa, have you got a will? No, but I'm going to make one out there just so I can cut him out. <laughs> You. Impossible. I've been a hint ever since Thanksgiving. <laughs> Forgot it, huh? Ross, you mind the store. I've got to talk with that little pup squeak. I don't understand this. I'm going to find out why he's left me out as a Christmas list. He better have a good reason, else I'm going to break his neck. And... Hello, Luigi. Hello, Pasquale. Merry Christmas. That all depends. Well, what are you looking so sad about? You did something you sorry for, maybe? Miss Granny, I'm, I'm, I'm lost a little white envelope. Maybe you was a founder? Absolutely not that I could approve with six of witnesses. <laughs> you don't need nobody. I, I believe you, Pasquale. Eh, uh, Luigi. What, Pasquale? Uh, tell me, uh, you didn't forget anything lately, eh? Forget that? Yeah, she, you know, is now the season for Santa Claus. And people are being generous. Uh, stockings over the fireplace. That's funny. I'm sorry, but... Yeah, don't butt me no butts. Uh, Luigi, all year long, you've been crying about that broken-down old radio you got. is always a blowing tubes. So yesterday, I went out and bought you something. No radio? No, three new tubes. <laughs> <laughs> that was going to be your present, including a few other things I was going to get you. But now, uh, you can forget about them. Pasquale, please. After all, fellows, uh, forget I'm alive. Pasquale, I'm, 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 I'm a dinner forget you, Pasquale. You, you got something for me, Luigi? <laughs> you save it for a surprise, huh, Luigi? Yeah, yeah, sure, Pasquale. Here's your present, and, and a Merry Christmas. Luigi, what a beautiful uh, font and a pen. Uh, look, right. all the cap of 14 carats a point. It's a writing on it. Yeah. With a sincere friendship for Christmas in 1951. Mm -hmm. Luigi, I gotta apologize to you. I have you all wrong. Oh, it's, it's all right, Pasquale. As long as you're happy now. Oh, Luigi, I'm very happy. And now you did me a favor, I gotta do you a favor. Pasquale, please, no rush. No, no, no. No, it's just something else. When you left the store yesterday, Luigi, I was standing there, and suddenly... Luigi, I... my fellow boo. Oh, oh. <laughs> Hello, Schultz. Ach, my Luigi. A Merry Christmas to everybody. Even to you, Pasquale. Merry Christmas, Mr. Delicatessen, man. Ach, Luigi, I never got a chance to really thank you for that little wallet you gave me for a present. That's all right, Schultz. Use it in a good hat. <laughs> oh, I love that little secret compartment inside where you can hide some money. <laughs> you know, it's really very tricky. It took my wife ten minutes to find it. <laughs> I'll smile, everybody. Be like me, huh? Always happy, always laughing. <laughs> Ooh. My rheumatism is killing me. <laughs> Thanks for the wallet. It's too bad you didn't find one. Schultz, Schultz, I, I want to talk with you. Just a second, Luigi. Pasquale, it's too bad that Luigi couldn't get you a present this year. Ah, hey, what are you talking Schultz. about? Luigi would never forget Schultz. he's the best friend of Pasquale. Uh, Pasquale, I... Uh, Schultz, no, no, Luigi is no, to give this to me. No. That's a very suspensive present. Hey, Luigi, ain't that the very same fountain pen the class gave you? Huh? Yeah, yes. Yeah, yes, yeah, sure. Hey, you know something? I'm, well, I'm, I'm liking it so much, I'm going out and got a same one for Pasquale. Uh-huh. And where's yours, Luigi? Mine, well, well, uh, it was, oh, well, uh, you see, Schultz, on, on the way home from school, uh, I'm lost to mine. You did, huh? Yeah. Then tell me, Luigi, how could you buy Pasquale a fountain pen if you lost the fifty dollars? Well, all right. It's my fountain pen. Luigi. 
You mean you couldn't buy a present when you lost your money, so you gave me the fountain of pen your classes give you? Merry Christmas, Mr. Pasquale. Luigi. Luigi, why didn't you tell him why you didn't give him a present? Pasquale, do you know that that little Wiener schnitzel has been saving a dollar a week from his lunches and car fares all year just so he could prepare a big surprise for you? Luigi, you was going to spend all of the $50 on me? What could you buy? Suit, coat, shoes, down payment on automobile? Hey, no, Pasquale, it wasn't nothing like that. It was, well, it was, was there nothing that you could wear to eat or play with? Well, it was something, uh, something uh, for the heart. Well, what? Tell us already. To me, Christmas is, is not just the given things. It's for the spirit. Peace on earth and a good will towards a man. Pasquale, if, if what I was going to give you would have made you feel that way, well, it, uh, it would have been a real Christmas present. Luigi, where is this present? Maybe if you was suddenly to find the money, you could still buy it. No, no, Pasquale, it is not in a store. You see, I was went to the church, and, and I said to Father Carney, Father Carney, I'm going to be glad to, to give the church $50. If on a Christmas night, the, the little boys would acquire... And with the beautiful voices, was it, was it to come and sing outside of Pasquale's restaurant? A little voice of choir. Yeah. Ach, Luigi, only you could think of a thing like that. But what's the use? I was supposed to be there this morning, but I I'm, I'm didn't have the money. I'm sorry, Pasquale. Pasquale, where are you going? I'm going to kill myself. What? Luigi, I'm the worst the rat that's ever crawled on the face of this earth. You see, I was the one who... Luigi, what's that? Pasquale, it's the little boys. Here, there was a come anyway. Look, there's a fire carne. Open the doors and let's hear. Yeah. Listen.
Oh, but Connie, that that was a beautiful. But I'm not expected you to come because. But I'm 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 going to bring you the money. Luigi, the church never asks for money in advance. Advance? But Father, I'm, I'm not got to nothing. You, you see, I was a loser. To... Luigi, look under the table. Huh? There's envelope. Bill. That's that's a look like my envelope. I'm going to look inside. Yeah, yeah, here's the money inside. My money. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, <laughs> ninety, hundred. You see, Luigi, you found your money after all. Yeah, but, but a father, how, how is it possible? There was only fifty in the envelope and, and now it's a hundred. Luigi, it's a Christmas day. A miracle can happen. Yeah, Pasquale, I, I wonder who's made the miracle. Pasquale has got us a Christmas present after all. And I'm finishing this letter to you with a brand new fountain pen. Pasquale has wanted to write some extra words on it, like uh, your best friend, Pasquale. But the Schultz is not let him. So it's now a pen and a pencil set. Mamma mia. Maybe you're thinking to yourself, how much... The present was a mean to Pasquale. Well, I'm going to tell you. After everybody is went away, the father, the choir, Schultz, I'm looked at the empty envelope and I'm said to Pasquale, Pasquale, you made the miracle. And Pasquale said to me, No, Luigi, you did. It's a take a miracle to make a miracle. Merry Christmas, Mamma Mia. Makers of Wrigley Spearmint Chewing Gum hope you enjoyed tonight's Christmas episode of Life with Luigi. And they join with Cy Howard, Mac Benoff, J. Carol Nash, Alan Reed, Lou Derman, Hans Conried, Mary Ship, Jody Gilbert, Ken Peters, Joe Forte, Pat Burton, and the Robert Mitchell Choir Boys in wishing you all a very Merry Christmas. It's a pleasure for all of us to bring you Life with Luigi each week. Thanks for listening, and thanks to all of you who chew and enjoy. Wrigley's Spearmint Gum. The makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum invite you to listen next week at this time when Luigi Basco writes another letter to his mama Basco in Italy. This is Charles Lyon. Live with Luigi was transcribed. This is the CBS Radio Network.